Say let's do one example, a few examples uh, of long division method. Now this is one method which is uh, not taught uh, in many schools or many students uh, don't know about long division method. So let us take one simple example. Uh, say 898 divided by 80. Now division you can do in different ways. Uh, but we're going to do this method. So, so this is how you set a long division. So I'm dividing 898 by 18. Okay. Now this is, as you know, this is the unit. 8 is in the unit or 1's place. This is 9. Or 9 is in the 10th place. And 8 is in the 100th place. So when, you're, when you are dividing 898 by 18, uh, you ask the question, 18 goes how many times in 8? Well, 8 doesn't go in, or it cannot go in 8. So you can say, well, it goes 0 times. It doesn't go. So this is filled up. So you, this is in the 100th place. This is 100th place. So 18 doesn't go in 8. Okay, now 18 goes how many times in 89? Okay, so this is this is this is the tens place. Okay, so you're asking eighteen goes how many times in eight ninety eight? So eighteen goes say four times. So don't worry about this eight. So eighteen goes how many times in eighty nine? Four times. Why? Because eighteen times four is 72. Okay, because 18 times 2 is 36, so 18 times 4 is 72. So when you write 4 here, this is in the tens place, so 18 times, as this is in the tens place, this is 18 times 40, so which is 720 here. Then you take away uh, 720 from 898. So 8 take away 0 is 8. This is 9 take away 2 is 7. 178. So now 18 goes how many times in 178? So I know 18 times 10. 18 times 10 is 180. Okay. So it should be very close to 180. So let me try 18 times 9. So you have to do some trial and error method. So 8 times 9 is 72. So you write 72 like this. 8 times, sorry, 9 times 1 is 9 times 7 is uh, 9 plus 7 is 16. So it's 162. So 18 times 9 is 162. And then again you take away. So this is 8 take away 2 is uh, 8. Uh, take away 2 is 6 and 7 take away, seven take away uh, 6 is 1. So this is called a remainder. So this is the remainder and this is called the quotient. Now how can you check whether your answer is right? So if your answer is right, so this is how you check. So let me show you how to check. If your working is right, if your working is right, 18 times 49 plus 16 should give you 898. So this 18 goes in 898 49 times and then 16 is the remainder. So this times this, so this is this is called the this is called the divisor. This is the divisor. This is called the dividend. This is called the dividend. So there is a relation between divisor, quotient, dividend, and remainder. That is divisor times quotient, 
plus the remainder should give you the derivative. So let us try. 18 times 49 plus 16. So 18, so 18 times 49. That is, so using bit math, of course, you have to multiply first and then add. 18 times 49 is same as 18 times 50 minus 1, which is 18 times 50 minus 18 times 1. So 18 times 50 is 18 times 10 is 18 times 100 is 1800, so this is 900. Or 18 times 5 is 90, so 900 minus 18. So 900 minus 10 minus 8. So this is 8, 890. So this is 890 minus 8, which is 882 plus 16, which is 898. So our working is perfect and so. Uh, can give yourself five stars.